Nancy! But good morning, hello, and welcome. Welcome to Nunzi's YouTube. Dude, what a great book. How to win friends and influence people. It was funny about that book is that I've been reading it now, and the whole thing on how to make friends is be fucking nice to people. Show interest in people. Smile at people. Anyway, that's not what we're vlogging about today. You guys, I am so excited for today because you are going to be tagging along with your boy Nunzi and I'm going to show you guys what I basically do in terms of my eating rituals, my habits, um, my tips and tricks that I want to give to you guys throughout the entire day um, and uh, just kind of like show you what works for me and as we're seeing it's early in the morning it's about 8 30 right now and I've started on the balcony here beautiful view and I think the, I don't think, I know that the moment you wake up, right? Like that's a really important moment. That's a really important moment in the day. And I, I really work hard on waking up every day and, and, and smiling and getting myself just excited, right? Like it, it's all about vibrations and frequencies and tones, right? So if you start the day on a negative sort of tone or you know, you're just not like, you know, with it, it's gonna, that's gonna play out through the whole rest of the day. So the, the way you start the day is fucking so important. And what do I do as a social media guy who's on my phone all day? I don't even touch the phone. I actually come out here and I read. So I read a book for about 10 minutes and then I'll do my affirmations, um, which are positive thinking, positive thoughts to myself. I'll get big, I'll put my arms in the air, let the universal energy rush through me and I'll take in this incredible view and I'll remind myself of how grateful I am to live this life. And that's how I start today. Before I take a drink, before I eat food, before I do hygiene, before I check my phone, before I do any posting, that's a ritual that I've ingrained in myself. So one of the things, even though we're talking about food necessarily today, I do want you guys, you need a morning ritual. You need, you need a morning routine to get your mind dialed in. And that can be many things. It can be yoga, meditation, reading, walk the dog, uh, walk yourself, like it doesn't really matter but that's for you to discover. And you wanna find something that's extremely sustainable. You see, I was having troubles reading. I really wanted to read. I'm like, hey, Michael, we gotta read, we gotta read. And every day that would go by, I wasn't reading, wasn't reading. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? And I'm like, okay, this is, I'm gonna wake up. That's the first fucking thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read. And I've been able to do that. Now I've created a habit and now it's just part of my lifestyle. Now I can't live without it. So anyway, I'm so excited to have you follow me through the whole day today. It's gonna be wild, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And you're gonna see, behind the scenes of how your boy gets a physique like this and also learn a lot of tips and tricks along the way. So why don't we jump right into it, let's go. Alrighty, as everyone knows, what's the most important meal of the day? It's breakfast, right? Hmm, maybe for Maxie it is. You know it. <laughs> but yo, okay, so this is one of the first things I wanna talk about is, you know, is breakfast, is meal one. Um, and this is super subjective. It's very, very subjective. And it's not like breakfast can be very important for some people. And like, you know, like we get a lot of the times that sometimes we're not hungry in the morning. Um, some people wake up, they don't have a big appetite in the morning. Some people wake up extremely hungry. There's so many variables to this question. As you can see, my friend here, Max, you know, he, he, he loves a big breakfast. So every day he's in here making his breakfast. As in for myself, you know, I come from more of a fasting background. So when I wake up, I actually don't eat a lot of food. I actually don't, I actually don't eat breakfast, um, to be completely, to be completely frank. And I'm going to show you guys what I actually take in terms of my supplements. I, I, I like fasting in the morning. Um, I'm not a big fan of eating a lot of food before I train. Uh, as you guys are going to see a little later in the video, you're going to come with me in my workout. But I, I try to work out fasted. There's some hormonal uh, benefits to that. Plus, on a personal level, I get a better train. Now, I'm also not looking at like gaining a lot of size. Um, and, you know, I'm just trying to stay in shape and feel good. Rather, if you're like on a like, if you're trying to like gain weight or if you're trying to get bigger or build muscle, then I would say definitely like breakfast is, is a must. If you're trying to lose weight uh, and you're trying to regulate your, you know, metabolism, you know, fasting could work. But like, I don't wanna, this isn't a fasting video. I just wanna let you guys know 
my morning routine and what I do. So like I said, we start on the balcony, we read a book, we meditate, we do our affirmations, we come in. Now, I like to, we, we, uh, this is a very relevant topic, is, is gut health. So what I will do in the mornings is I will um, basically get my, my gut health going. So I'm going to show you guys a little supplement line. That this is, these are the subs that I take in the morning here. So right here we have the marine collagen. Um, marine collagen is great for skin health. It's fantastic. Big fan of this. I have my probiotic I take every morning. Dandelion and uh, what is this? Uh, Kanye powder. I can't even say it. How do you say that word? Cayenne. Cayenne. I'm always saying Kanye. It ain't Kanye. It's ca Cayenne. Okay? So, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Cayenne and Dandelion. These basically what that does is it like helps with like water retention. And it just like helps clean the stomach out. Helps get your digestive tract on point. And then I take a liver care just because, you know, liver's important. And then, yeah. So then we have the uh, powders, which are the BCAs. And then the glutamine right there. Glutamine is like fantastic for immune support. Um, it's for like, you know, recovering that kind of thing. So this is like my morning stack. So I will take this. I'll take about a liter of water to two liters of water in the morning. Um, and that's what I do before I start my cardio. So let's get some steps. Let's jump on the tread. Let's go. I actually go. wanted to bring up one quick point here. So if you do cardio or you do train in the morning uh, and you're doing it fasted, I think it's a great call to have the BCAs. Look at this tasty though. This is the sup drawer in here. Um, that's just gonna like, you know, BCAs are basically gonna stimulate what we call protein synthesis. And that's important for like muscle growth. Um, there's a lot of debates on this. I mean, this is why it, it's so like subjective, right? Like if you go online and like, you know, there are some people who like are fasters who say BCAs are a joke. There are others that like, I don't know. As, as you would say, you are the placebo. So, I mean, I take it. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so it tastes fucking fruity. That's why I like it. But anyway, um, before I do cardio, though, I do take a couple like stimulants. So I'll, t I'll do the BCAs. Uh, Magnum has a great fasted cardio product. So it's got like caffeine. Um, so we'll take that. And I might even throw in a little bit of... Um, this is CLA, so this is like another like kind of like fat burning thing. So a lot of cool different subs in there. I mean, end of the day, end of the day when it comes to like fat burning supplements and pre workouts, so it's all the it's all the stimulant, it's all the caffeine or the ephedrine or the yohim. It's like that's what like stimulates the B receptor, which which in turn increases your metabolic output. So you know the ECA stack. That's the that's the old school shreds stack. You know what that one is. Let's go. There we are. Who's that guy getting his steps in, no shirt, tarps off all the time in Nunzi's world. But yo, um, I try to get some cardio, fasted cardio done uh, every day as I can. And this is one of the points I want to bring up is that you try, I don't like, you don't try, you actively make effort to keep a routine, but sometimes days don't go as planned. You know, doesn't matter. I always start my day with the reading and the, and the affirmations and the getting big. And I always take my morning supplements to set my digestive tract. Um, like I said, fasting works for me. Um, I don't do like, like, what's your window? Like, I don't have like windows. Like, this is what I mean. Like for me, like you gotta remember, I've been doing this a long time. Um, and we don't think of nutrition it's as a skill set. It's a skill set. You got to learn it. So I've tried so many different things and I've been able to formulate what works for myself and my lifestyle and my goals. And that's important. Like that's why this is subjective and you guys are getting an insight to what I do that works for me, but this might not work for you necessarily. There's golden rules, but I do think doing some kind of physical activity in the morning, um, i.e. 20 minutes on the on the tread or a bike or an elliptical, um, you know, going for a walk outside. You have a dog, it's a great excuse to really like, just get your heart rate up. And you're not even going from a point of view of like, it's good for your metabolic output, but it's more of like, just like to get you, to get you zoned in. You know, I talked about earlier how you wanna get your head in the game when you start the day. So, you know, for me, like, there's a direct indication of like when I wake up, read affirmations, subs, 
cardio, boom, cold shower. Like I'm like dialed in, right? Compared to days where you can wake up, you're like, oh, like, uh, like you know, you're hung. That's why I don't like drinking alcohol, right? It's because the hangovers, man, they fucking kill you. And then they kill your momentum, right? So anyway, um, I'll do cardio for like, depends, man. I'm a social media guy, right? So one of my rationales is I'd rather like, you know, multitask by getting steps in, working on my phone rather than like sitting on my ass. But I'll do about 40 to 60 minutes in the morning. Um, and like I said, do it fasted. I got my subs, regulate my digestive tract. It's super important. You are what you absorb. And that's why I spend a lot of time, probiotics, prebiotics, this, this stuff line I showed you up there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get uh, some steps in, let's go. team what's up this is my favorite point in the day we're gonna go train we're gonna go lift some weights so like i said we wake up get the head in the zone do a little bit of cardio um and i want i want, I want to make point to this because i think it's important that you guys understand this that it is good to eat in the morning you know like some of us don't have appetites some of us do have appetites i've made this clear that's all really subjective but if you are going to eat a breakfast I always recommend a breakfast on the lower carb side of things. So high protein, always high protein um, and healthy fats. So like one of my go-tos uh, is usually like eggs and avocado. If I eat eggs and avocado, that's a great way. Or a little bit of hummus, sriracha. Mm, my mom, my mom, my mom. Um, but yo, like you got to stay away from the high sugary, high glycemic like cereals. Um, you know, I, I find like if, if you eat a lot of a high glycemic carb in the morning, that it can make you sleepy, you know, it can kind of just like take you out for the day or foggy. Um, carbs are very important, but they just gotta be utilized. Like right now, like for example, and this is this is why it's interesting, right? Because it's all based on your goals. So, you know, for me, I'm just looking to stay in shape. So, but like if you want to get huge and get yoked, this you could you could hypothetically have like, you know, you know, hi, I'm just grabbing these right here, like some like what are this, some jam or something like that, like something like a hot because like what I'm gonna do right now, so usually my my ritual here is before my, my workout, y'all know. Ah, look at that. It's an apple. I love a piece of fruit before my workout. I love fruit. If you, it, like literally, if you have anybody in your life professionally telling you not to eat fruit, just fucking run. Run away. That is the most amount of bullshit in the, in the food industry that I've heard is like, don't eat fruit. Fruit is like micronutrients, fiber, it's ridiculous. So anyway, apple before the gym, that is uh, a ritual and uh, always high fats and high protein in the morning if you're going to eat. And then just before the train, if you want to have a little bit of a high glycemic carb, if you're looking at getting yoked, you can, or if you want to train fasted, but you know, this is going to just get me going. Oh man. Apples, dude. I'm telling you right now, if you have cravings, you're just in a bad fucking mood. Eat an apple. Yep. All right, now that I've had my little pre workout apple, I want to show you guys what I take before the gym. It's my pre workout stack. A lot of love here from my homies, Magnum. So, obviously, the pre workout is key. Uh, it's a great, you know, Magnum has a great pre workout. They also have Opus. The Opus is cool. It's like a, it's like an intra, uh, intra pump product so it has things like beta alanine which reduces like lactic acid buildup you know when you train it'll burn so it'll help that out uh this muscle builder here is pretty key it's got like some creatine in it yes creatine is great yes it's safe just that's so ridiculous and yes women can take it um bcas once again uh i take a lot of bcas remember i was like placebo but i i, I take it a lot because i like i said i, I fast quite a bit so i just don't want to be too catabolic, um, but then I'll throw in maybe, you know, a little bit of volume here, right? So I like to mix it up. I try to stay away from stimulants just because I've personally have abused them over my, you know, 10 years in the fitness industry. Like I take a pretty workout now, I don't even feel it, right? So you know, those are your adrenals, um, you know, so it's good to give those a break because that in turn will help you uh, lose, lose fat and weight. <laughs> And another uh, quick key tip here, when it comes to your pre-workouts, man, like I, I just use, like, as you saw, a minimal amount of water, 
Like, don't, like, I don't, I, I don't know. That's just my personal preference because it gets in the system quicker. And anytime it hit, it's in the system quicker, hits it quicker. Hee <laughs> hee. Dudes, on my way to the gym now. Um, you know, I would say if you do eat before the gym, you'd want to give yourself at least 45 minutes to an hour for digestion. And it's got to be light. Like, don't be eating fucking steak, even though I love steak. Save that for, like, after the meal, you know? Keep it light, man. Just always, like, your diet is so much in line to what you do physically in the day, you know? What your goals are. So, if you're constantly, like, if you, if you, if you have a desk job and you don't do a whole lot of activity, then obviously your nutrition and your diet should be planned around that. If you're someone who's, like, on their feet, like, working out, doing CrossFit workouts and shit, like, dude, then you're going to need the energy. So, it's, like, it's all, like energy in energy out expenditure that kind of you know science and physics and bullshit so anyway um that's what we do we're gonna go train i'm dialed in the apple's starting to kick in i'm feeling it i'm like holy shit apple attack and uh let's go work out all righty just got to the gym apple's starting to kick in feeling good pretty workout in hand sorry this is in my intro so the bca is in the opus it's uh, extremely important that you stay hydrated when you train. So it's kind of annoying right now. The, the gym I train at doesn't have fucking water. So that's not ideal. But uh, yeah, man, when you work out, you want two or three liters of water. I'd recommend a product called Vitargo. It's, uh, if you're trying to gain weight, it's a great uh, intra-carb. It's like a waxy maze. It's just a fast-acting carb, right? You need carbs, dude. Um, but yeah, man, you know, <clears throat> you guys know how I work out. But we're going to train. This isn't for the vlog today, but my training. But, dude, plenty of those. Just check the feed. Subscribe. Let's go. Um, but I will say this, man. When I come to the gym, the mindset is like we're clocking in for a shift. It's like we're going into a zone. Like, you know, I go into a zone. I get very, very focused because training is ultimately a focus. It's a mental discipline. And that's how you're going to achieve the best results. Let's do it. Right, there we go another shift clock out that's what we do and uh you know at this point that's what you gotta treat every day um like its own fucking day and you have these rules that you try to like or you work your best on i don't like the word try but you work your best on having your own house rules so like right now for example it's like it's a little later in the afternoon like i don't like to not like eat like I want to eat after I'm done working out. So I'm going to stop and post up because this isn't uh, post workout nutrition is extremely important, very important uh, for, for a lot of reasons, obviously. But so, but I want to, there's a couple of myths. So after you've worked out, especially if you've done it properly and you've gone like hardcore, you don't want to have a, um, oh, we're live still. The, my fucking phone's always dying. But you don't want to, my arm's so tired, I need to like, post up see thanks <laughs> how about tripod anyway um you don't want to have a huge meal after you train right your digestive system's all like fucking sporadic man you just went hard in the paint so you want to wait at least like 45 minutes to have like your sufficient meal now having like a protein shake like a whey shake or a whey isolate even better uh is a good call bcas i mean there's a lot of different forms of fasting that do that um uh, but at the end of the day, you should definitely eat after you work out or at least get some kind of protein in you to start the rebuilding process because that's what we do in the gym, right? It's, just, it's not, this shit's not rocket science, man. I didn't go to fucking med school here. Like, it's like, dude, go to the gym, you lift the weight, tears the muscle down, then you got to rebuild it by nutrition and sleep. Um, so I'm going to, I'm actually, I have a rehabilitation appointment with my buddy, Dr. Uh, Cody Zhang. Guy's fucking brilliant. Rehab is key. But after you work out, I would say within 30 minutes, you want to try to get some kind of a protein shake in you. If you want to add a carb complex, like I was talking about earlier with the Vitargo, that's not a bad call. Um, but all in all, and then I'm going to have my meal. I can't wait to eat. So now the feasting portion of, of Nunzi's day begins. And, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to have a lot of good food tonight. But let's get to the rehab. I'm running late as per usual. All right, man. As you can see, Cody's chamber. Just finished a uh, intense rehab session on the glute meats and glute max, man. The booty king, 
gotta release the booty because it's so tight. But yeah, man, do your rehab because rehabilitation is so key. It's so fundamental um, and it cannot be overlooked, cannot be overlooked. So, you know, stretching, foam rolling, uh, doing something like this. I see, I see Cody on a weekly basis, sometimes twice a week uh, to just get in those areas. Because, dude, the, the, longer you, the more you take care of your body, the, the longer you can train. So just got back from rehab. Brutal. We're feeling it. So this is a go-to uh, post-workout of mine. Like I said, I try to keep it really light, not a super heavy um, with a lot of like meat protein. I'm going to have the quick whey um, or a vegan protein, for example. So these are actually, so this is actually one of my favorite proteins that I take. But anyway, so what I do, this is cheeky, is I make like a little pudding. So I make like a base. So check it out. So I have two plain rice cakes and then two caramel. These are fun. I know there's sugar. If you're gonna have sugar, the best time to have it is post-workout, right? That's when your muscles are gonna consume it the fastest. So you can get away with that. Um, that's just kind of a golden rule. If you're, if you're gonna eat naughty food, it's always kind of great to eat it after you train because your muscles are gonna utilize it. So got the two caramel rice cakes, the two plain rice cakes. If you can, find, if you can believe it, I'm out of bananas. Um, there's usually a banana goes on here. And yeah, what I'm gonna do is just, look at this, a little spread of rooski. And this, this is all just protein powder. This is nothing like, this is not like with some almond milk there. This has got two scoops. And this is what I'm going to have directly after the gym. And then in about 35 minutes or so after this sits, that's where I'll actually have my first meal. But you want to keep this light, easy on the digestive system. You want to get the quick protein, the quick fats in there. Or sorry, not the quick fats. Do not eat fat after a workout. That's the opposite of what you want. That's why I want to eat fat in the morning um, and fat at night. You don't want to have fat around training, it slows your digestive down, so, or slows the consumption of food down or whatever, so, anyway, there we go, get your rice cakes. Uh, very exciting time, this is where my feasting begins, it's been a great day, definitely feeling hungry, um, had the rice cakes there about half an hour ago after the workout, so, I like to meal prep my protein, so, like, basically, like, I have containers of just, like, meat and, like, ground meat, so, as you can see in here, um, I absolutely love the ground meat. The ground meat is king. Um, it's quick. It's easy, right? Like one of the problems like with, with yeah, look at that. <laughs> one of the problems with chicken breasts and stuff like that is like, it's a lot of work, right? Like, I mean, I mean, you can throw them in the oven, but they're never as good. So that's why I like ground meat's nice because you can like just open the pack, chuck it in the pan, you know, boom. And then, and then you're off to the races. And it's good because you can like disguise it and things. So I'm going to put a nice, let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's right here. Tomato sauce. I'll put a nice tomato sauce on this. Another thing I might actually do sometimes as well that's really good is, you know what? Maybe I will do this, changing it up. Um, put the hummus, Habibi's hummus, hands down the best hummus. Um, and then some ketchup, some Franks, some hot sauce on that. So as you can see as well, have a few uh, spears of pineapple. Pineapple is incredible. It acts as a digestive enzyme. So I always like to finish my meal with a spear of pineapple. And this is like my first meal, like my legit meal. So I'll have basically a bowl of meat, some black beans. That's the other th cool thing about doing the ground meat is you can add stuff to it. Like when I cook the ground meat, when it's almost cooked, then I'll crack a few eggs in it. Um, I'll put some egg whites in it and then black beans afterwards. So it makes like a nice little melody here, as you can see. And that's what we're doing, man. So, and then, and then the spear. So this is meal one. Uh, meal one, you guys, is a bowl of meat. Yay. <laughs> Just had my first like official meal, the meat feast. Um, I usually like to drink a lot of my water in between the meals. So I'm not drinking a ton of water with the meal. I find that kind of disrupts the digestion. I kind of get bloated. So usually what I do, I usually do this in the morning, but I'm doing it at night right now where I'll have uh, a little bit of a green shake. So, you know, just some greens, you know, sip on this. This is great for anyone who's looking at losing weight. Um, you know, a lot of the times when we think we're hungry, it's actually that we're thirsty. Um, and like, if you have, if you're in those kind of realms where you just like had dinner, like you just ate a meal and then like literally like 20 minutes later, you're hungry, you're not hungry, you're thirsty or there's, you know, there's something more to it. But, um, that's why I'm a big believer in like really after you have a meal, make sure you have at least a liter of water or like at least 500 mils. Um, and that's, that's why I do, you know, throughout the, the evening period between my meals. Ladies and gentlemen, how we doing? It's getting a little late now. It's about 9 30, 10 and, uh, going to have my second meal of the day. 
A lot of people are like, you can't eat this late. Okay, there's an argument to that. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time. So, uh, you know, I'm just like, this is my lifestyle and what works for me. Um, many years ago, I sort of incorporated, I, I figured that, what I figured out is that I like to consume most of my food at night. I'm a nighttime eater. You know, like I'm working hard all day, focused all day, getting it done. And then when nighttime comes around, smoke a joint, I'm chilling out. That's when I want to consume most of my food. And I don't want to get too much into TEF, which is the thermogen effect of food, but your BMR is your basic metabolic rate. And like it, it comes down to calories, right? So let's say for example, you have 3000 calories and you know, that's your, that's what you burn in a day or that's what you need to hit. If you have that in six meals or you have that in two meals or you have that in one giant meal, not that that's good on your digestive system. Um, it's the same fucking thing. I mean, and, and that's for you to decide, you know, the, 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 the pro to smaller meals is your, your blood sugar will be more balanced, more regular. You won't have cravings, um, easier, way easier on your digestive tract. And you know, you'll keep your stomach look, looking a little tighter. Um, but for me personally, I like to eat in a bigger, you know, Italian boy, you know, mama mia, come on, hey, you know, so I like to fucking eat, man. You know, I, the, like 500 cal meal, like, fuck, no, like I want to, you know, so after my workout, I'll have the rice cakes and then I'll have three, like I said, three, three meals. And look at this, dude. Wow, that's beautiful. So what we got there is um, we got the meatballs, a, uh, you know what, so... It's plated perfectly. I can't take credit for this. I'm going to give it to the uh, missus over there. She's zoned in on her fucking show. Or I don't know what she's doing. But anyway, man, so meal two, um, very low carb again. You know, I like to have my carbs sporadically throughout, you know, the week, depending on the situation, the, you know, depending on how hard I train. But I'll usually have like one meal with carbs. I usually like to save it for the end of the night, you know, my little treat. So stay tuned for the treat. But we're going to dive in to that feast. Oh, this is so delicious. Nothing more than a little Italian boy loving his meatballs. That's the other thing you can do with ground meat is you can put them in balls and cook them. And uh, one of the things I want to talk about quickly here as I'm feasting, where to go is to eat slow. <laughs> But yo, it's the 80-20 rule, you know, because like I live my life by this and 80% of my food is like clean, you know. So like, for example, like we had the broccolinis, the mushrooms, the meatball, and then that little bit of like white stuff, haha, that is, uh, that's goat cheese, you know, and goat cheese is a very lean cheese. I usually don't do a lot of dairy, if any dairy at all, but you know, when you're having pasta, come on. So, or no, sorry, the broccolini mimics the pasta. So anyway, 80-20 rule is like, you know, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of this, a little bit of that on the healthy food. Because, man, you got to, you know, got to have fun, right? And uh, definitely will make it a lot more just like sustainable. Big shout out to compliments of the chef. Look at this. And uh, compliments to this guy right here for packing the sheesh. <laughs> so when I was a little chubby boy, every time after dinner, I needed a sweet. And that has carried on through my 27 years of life. So I just had my meatball dinner and I want a sweet. So I'm coming to the second fridge. Yes, we have two fridges. We ain't playing games. And okay, what the fuck? Yo, where are my Greek yogurt bars, man? They're in the other freezer. All right, yo, she, she's hiding them on me. Oh, here they are. Yo, these are fucking... So, dude, these are a uh, little Greek yogurt bar, 90 cals. Dude, work with the, dude, man, how cool is the lighting in the back there? That's Maxi's layer, the club. Anyway, dude, it is so key to have healthy treats on deck, like low-cal, satisfying things, you know? And uh, let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right so at the point now where the munchies have kicked in just had the ice cream bar and you know just wanted to snack it out right i still got another meal in a bit but it's gonna be my protein pudding but i want to show you guys another healthy treat okay look at this they're stocked up in the bag two bags of this shit boom chicka pow chicka pow 
popcorn, dude. Popcorn is fucking dope. It's low glycemic. It's tasty. It's salty. It's crunchy. I mean, if doesn't if you don't want it after that spiel, I don't even know what's Babe making here. She's making a pudding. This guy's eating toast. See, we're all eating, man. So we do. We feast at night. So we win and grow. And then, like I said, fucking eat. <laughs> Final <laughs> meal of the night. Where are you running to? That was weird. I had my. Per she helped me cut bananas. And yes, what do you think? What do you think I'm having as my last meal? But yeah, I made this is huge. So I made the switch. <sighs> okay. So I had to make a very tough decision in my life about five months ago. Hello. And that was that I have an addiction to peanut butter. I was eating a jar a week. Okay. So I only have peanut butter in the house every so often now, just cause I gotta like, you know, just control it, right? So if you have something in the house that's a trigger food, don't keep it around, you know, have it as like every once in a while. So what I do now is like I showed you earlier after I had my workout, my post-workout, hey, is I make a pudding. So I just do two scoops of the vegan protein, that guy, and make this, just pour milk in it, stir it up, and I put on rice cakes, and then I have my professional banana cutter here, sliced bananas for me. And uh, we're gonna have the final meal. Big job here, this is always stressful, but professional here. Putting the bananas evenly spaced. The ergonomics need to be precise. Each rice cake will contain five bananas. Good job, very good job. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna top that with cinnamon. If you didn't know, cinnamon's good for insulin sensitivity. And I found that out on Google. <laughs> like everything in life, dude. You can just become a brilliant human on Google. Okay, so cinnamon and uh, homeboy chilling. So he's, he's just fed too, man. This guy's always eating. So yeah, it's getting close to midnight. Um, I, I cut my eating off at midnight <laughs> sometimes. Um, but um, yeah, I always want to give myself at least an hour of uh, time to digest the food. You know, you don't want to go to bed on a full stomach. That's not fun. Trust me, I've fallen asleep many a times full. It's not ideal. It's a habit I'm trying to personally work on. Uh, you know, just with the late night binging and shit like that. So that's one of the drawbacks to fasting. Like as you guys have seen today, I've eaten a lot of food within the last like five or six hours. But obviously when we started, I under ate. So it's the manipulation of how I personally utilize my calories. But that's subjective to you and your goals and your own situa uh, situation. So we're gonna devour these. Where's the cinnamon? You forgot the cinnamon and you put it away. Come here, come here, finish, oh, no. finish the job. Finish the job. Oh, no. Here we go. I'm in trouble. All right, we're gonna feast. Oh man, those rice cakes were gone quick. You guys, what is happening? Your boy Nunzi. I thought how fitting would it be to end where we started on the balcony. Beautiful city view. So there you go, you guys. It's a little snapshot of uh, kind of what a typical day looks like. I mean, to be real with you, to, to be real with you guys, like I change my stuff so much. Like I never stand still. Like I have these principles, right? Where like, you know, I, I focus on my digestive health in the morning. I like to fast, just I like to train fasted. And then when I train midday and then after I have like a lot of nutrient based food, you know, 80% is all nutrient based, 20% is a little fun. And then like all my like cravings and stuff, I found healthy substitutions for But like, your diet in many ways is, is evol it's, it's all refinement and evolution, you know, and, and it's finding things that work for you and just like picking pieces of maybe different, you know, styles of eating. You know, I never really, I'm a huge fan of like being like keto or like whatever, like, you know, I mean, it might work for you, but like, you know, for me, it's like I've taken bits and pieces of like, of the keto diet, of, you know, fasting, of paleo, of, you know, you know, whatever, right? Like, you know, bodybuilder style of eating, so. Anyway, yo, new vlog every Thursday, uh, Monday, you know, we hit the real talks, subscribe, don't, I really, I don't, I don't do the spiel, um, it's a waste of time in my opinion, and it sounds like just weak, so, <laughs> I'm on all the platforms, you know, if you want to hook me up, dude, or you want to check me out, dude, 
Um, my mission is to inspire is what I do. So Nunzi on all the platforms. And uh, like I said, new content every single week. I love what you, I love what I do. And it, it, if you, this is my motto in life, and I'll say it strong and I'll say it again. Be you, do you, live your greatest life. If you're not excited, get excited. I'm your boy Nunzi. I'm really cold. I'm going to go in and maybe eat something else. No, I'm kidding, because I would hold myself accountable and show it on the bid. Ciao.